Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, to the 86th episode of the Super Mega Cast, starring Matt Watson and myself, Ryan McGee. In this episode, we will talk about stuff, things, and all the like. Here we go. Off to Matt for the weather. Um. All right. Well, I mean, it feels great in Los Angeles today. I gotta say, it's feeling it's feeling nice. It's been chilly, but now it's feeling good. And but that only applies to people in Los Angeles, and that only applies to people today, right now, when we're recording this. So by the time I'm listening to this, it's completely irrelevant. Yeah, you will be listening to this though, um, within like a two day period of us recording it. So yeah. you know, you at least it'll be uh, close in proximity of time right. for you, Los Angeles listeners. It's it's a very recent weather uh, for not forecast observation. Yeah, and can we just give a big shout out to our man? Kenneth, who just did the announcement for this episode. Thank Kenneth, you, Kenneth. good job, man. We figured we'd hire him to kind of set things off on a positive note. Um, He's got a great voice. I don't think we can pay for any other podcast. He charges a lot, so maybe after he this charges, one. He charges, like, I thought this... Yeah, I did not expect so just, his race to be This will so be high. the only one. But yeah, he, he's a great part of the crew. We're love to ha- we love to have him on. Um, so, uh, I love Kenneth, man. Yeah. But hey, everyone. Um, Ryan... Actually, That's me. has a surprise for everybody. Oh, my lord, do I ever! He wants to tell everyone. Yeah, what a, do I want to tell him about? Man? A wonderful story wonderful that happened story. to him in the last week, happened to me in the last involving week. him. Yeah, and his mother. Go ahead, Ryan. Uh, my mom is does. I don't know. <laughs> Ryan, you know what I'm talking <laughs> what about, man. Story? You know exactly what I'm th- talking about. I'm trying about. to think of a story. No, Ryan, you know what I'm talking about. No, 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 no. She does a lot of stuff that gets me on edge. So, no, I'm you, trying Ryan, to... you know exactly what I'm talking about, man. I, I'm trying to. Which one though? The thing with the petroleum jelly. Oh no, I don't want to talk about that. Really? Yeah. Oh, all right. I, I said save it for episode like a hundred for like a special thing. Oh. You know, make sure to bring it up for the hundredth episode. Okay. All right. Well, it'll be the petroleum jelly special. All right, but, but in 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 other news, uh, how how have you been? What what have you been up to recently, Matthew? Man, Ryan, I've been good, man. I uh, I've just been chilling out, doing a little bit of maxing. Okay, doing a little bit of hanging out. So you thought you thought I was you thought I was gonna do the Fresh Prince yeah, joke? Yeah, I, I did I was, not do it. Well, you kind of did it. You even referenced it. I broke and expectations. Brought it to yeah, yeah. Well, see, Ryan, that's what comedy's all about. It's about breaking expectations, right? It's about shattering expectations. That's what it is. That's what I, I took. I went to comedy school. That's what they taught me. Is that what you did over? Is that what you did over the over the weekend? I did. I went to comedy school. <laughs> is that why you're so funny right now? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm, br- I'm bringing a whole new. I'm changing the game when it comes to our tell. podcast. I could tell. I was right like, now. man, he's ten times funnier than he normally is. <laughs> Thanks, man. Everyone's been telling me that lately. Like ever since I went to this this new comedy school, everyone's been telling me like Matt. You're so funny these days. <laughs> when did you get so funny, man? <laughs> get Facebook messages from your friends. God damn, man. How'd you get so funny? I mean, I know we haven't talked since high school, but I don't know. I just kind of got this feeling lately, just like in something in the air. It just says you're funnier these days. <laughs> but um, s- speaking of Facebook. Yeah? Do you like Facebook? I don't. I really don't. I haven't liked it for the past, like, two years. Okay, I use Facebook... So I got a Facebook account like eight or nine years ago, yeah. and back then I was really into it because I was Same. like, I was like, Facebook's the shit, man. I can keep track of my friends. What are they doing? Yeah. They're posting pictures. I'm posting pictures. You know, I, I'm you'd taking always... quizzes to yep. silently hint at my crushes that I go to school with. Maybe if they see this, this little quiz I took, maybe yep. I'll be like, ooh, maybe that's me, and we'll, you know. Yeah, exactly, man. It never, nothing ever good happened because of those quizzes, but because I wonder if anyone's ever gotten laid because of like a Facebook personality quiz. Yeah. But I, uh, I remember like commenting on your friend's wall after you get home from school, but doing some homework. You'll comment on like your friend's wall, you know, write some, write some funny stuff, you know, yeah. share, share a funny YouTube video of a chimpanzee peeing in his own mouth, you know, good stuff, man. I remember comments turned into like chat log sex. Oh, do you remember Facebook chat? I used that all the time. I used it so fucking much, and I remember there's a lot of comment. Well, they're all gone now because I deleted my Facebook at one point and then I remade it. But there was a point where I could, I could just go back and. Through all the old conversations and from like years ago, I use that every day. I would still. talk about uh, I I don't I I can't I don't like it. That's how I keep up like Messenger. That's how I keep up with yeah. a lot of like uh, old friends and people that because you know, uh, since I moved, it's like a lot of people I don't live near anymore. So that's how I keep up with like old friends and family members and stuff. I keep up with old friends either through text or Snapchat. Except Snapchat's getting worse and worse and worse and worse and 
when worse and worse and help <laughs> worse and worse. Ryan, <laughs> no, Ryan, Ryan! <laughs> <laughs> that new Snapchat update sucks. Yeah, I do have to say, where it's like it just wants to show your own stories. I'm starting to now. get into Instagram stories. Yeah, me too. I started posting Instagram you know stories what? more. It's good. Let, let me post one right now. We should both post one. Let's both post an Instagram story right now, Ryan. How do I how do I do this? Guys, how do I work this thing? This is, this is gonna give everyone flashbacks because they're gonna be like, whoa, it's like it, it's I turn it, it, do I hold it to record a video? You're gonna do a video? Yeah. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Do I All hold right. it down to do the video? Yeah, hold it down to do a video. Whoa, I'm doing a video. It's an Instagram story. We're recording the podcast. This is gonna be in the podcast. Someone should sync it up when it comes out. That's crazy. Goodbye. Look at that. Whoa, dude. Look at that. Dude, I, I did I did Instagram live for the first time the other day. I'm going to put it on my story now. I did Instagram live. I've never done that before. I don't know why that's on my story. I, I did it for like 30, uh, 30 seconds and turned it off because it scared me. What did? Instagram live because of how many people started watching. Wait. You can... It, like, it's Watch. live you right want, You want to see me go live on Instagram right now, Ryan? Yeah. All right. We're about to go live on Instagram. This is going to be... Holy shit. This is going to be... Okay, ready? This feels like an ad for Instagram. All right, Instagram did not pay us to do this. Yeah. All right, I'm starting. Let's Are we live? Is this live? All right, we're now live. We're live. Are we're, people uh -oh. going? Are people going? I love this. Let's see. Um, people gonna record it. Let's see. Here's. I don't know. I, it doesn't say we have anyone viewing so far. Okay, there's somebody. There's somebody. All right, three viewers. Three viewers. We got three viewers oh, I on saw this. A little heart. That looks like the Twitter live oh, stream shit. thing. We're recording the podcast and we're right now we're talking about Instagram on it. So this is a this is an early sneak peek for anyone who's You guys are actually watching. listening to an a uh, podcast episode that's not out right with now. These mics. They, you won't hear the audio. Yeah, you won't hear this effect though. Like me doing this with the mic. Yeah, but in the, in the actual podcast you'll hear you doing You know that. what I'm saying? Wow, dude, this is this is this is really meta I right have now. Done that. Hello 620 people. Ryan, this is crazy, man. I feel I feel I like fixed it. I feel like we're doing like a Super Bowl halftime show right now because of how many people are watching. How many people are watching? Seven hundred seven seven hundred thirty one. Is this entertaining during the podcast? This is, this I is feel probably like this not. Is only entertaining. Hey, my sister. Hi. Hey, Sam. That's my sister. She just okay. Ask her how she's doing. Does she think of me? Uh oh, I just gave away my what? Ryan, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? It was just. I Looks like they'll have to check the whole podcast to see the resolution of this matter, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my, si my sister's married, Ryan. Yeah. She doesn't think about you. Have you ever even spoken to my sister? Once. Yeah, she... oh, that's right. We had dinner. You had, you had dinner when my sister was over. Remember? Yeah. yeah. We had steaks. Yeah. And they were really good. Thank you. They weren't steaks I made. I don't know why. Why'd you say why? thank you? I don't know. Because maybe I was, a, I was a good guest. I was like, <laughs> yeah. thank you for being a good guest at our dinner, Ryan. No, You're but welcome. why? Why did you say thank you still? Because even know. if you were a good guest, like, why would you say thank you to me? Because it's your family, and you're sharing your family with me. Okay, sure. You know, they are a blessing. You know, you've heard of wife sharing. We family share. <laughs> we share our entire yeah. family. Sometimes, you know, would but you not were, in a sexual way. Not right? in a sexual way. Yeah. No. In a very respectful, one hundred percent platonic, respectful way. We're poly. What would that even? Poly be? fam families. Po poly poly, poly families. Fam fam I don't know. Po poly. You know what I figured out on Instagram as well? What? When I decline all these messages, they can't message me again after that? Really? I don't think so. Look, I, I'm going to hit decline all. So these 47 messages will be removed and the senders won't be able to message you again. How will they not be able to message me again? I don't think that's true because I see the same person always messaging me after I decline it. Okay. Also, the frustrating thing about Instagram is if I accept somebody's message um, and then delete it, they can message me forever from then on out. So, uh... Well, here's the thing. Sometimes I see someone in the direct messages and they'll say something really nice or something that, you know, is actually funny. Yeah. You know, believe it or not. Yeah. I'm the, I'm, I'm the funny king. <laughs> the king uh, well, did you go to comedy school too this I'm week? I'm the king of funny. Dude, were you in my comedy class this weekend? I, I, was, I was in the second tier. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm getting up there. You're, you're working your way up to Matt Watson levels of golden star. What? I know. Dude, soon you're going to be as funny as Matt Watson. <laughs> soon. Soon. Soon I'll have the big old squeaky ball on my crown. What? There's a squeaky ball you get when you get to the, when you get to be the the supreme king of funny you get to put it on your crown and it squeaks whenever you and people honk laugh it. they go <laughs> <laughs> yep they do whenever you honk it on goes, the street I, I wish it was that easy to make people laugh i know honk a little I, squeaky dude, ball. it is actually very easy to make people make people laugh because i go to see like a really bad comedy that i don't think is funny something with like oh i know exactly what time i go to a bad movie you're like this movie sucks but the entire audience everyone's like, <laughs> everyone's like <laughs> i'm just i sit there with a blank face i'm like am i a dick 
Do I, why That's don't, how I feel. Why don't I feel? I, I want to laugh. I remember laughing my ass off to Jimmy Neutron when I was younger. This can't make me laugh? A grown man's penis can't make me laugh? Okay. It, was, it was in a Kevin Hart and Will Ferrell movie. One of, someone's penis comes out in a bathroom. And it shows the... Is it a real it penis? The, I don't know. It looks like a real penis. Wow. It a good job if it's a fake penis. That's how I feel, dude. When I'm sitting in movie theaters, I'm like... Get Hard? Yeah. Get, get Hard, yeah. Get hard. That's the movie where Will Ferrell's going to prison. That's that's the fourth time I've heard your phone this session, boy. Ryan, it's on vibrate. Better, that's all I can do. Better be an emergency. Uh, do I need to set it to emergency? It's just people People are just texting. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll put it on. Here we go. Um, airplane mode? No text will come through. The vibrations will not bother you. I'm this sorry. This is the one time when your family just gets in a horrible accident and they're calling you. <laughs> they need to reach you. Because, <laughs> of course, you can show up in a helicopter and rescue them, right? Yeah, dude. I'll, I'll fly to South Carolina in a helicopter in right now. In a wingsuit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, like being in a movie theater when everyone's like laughing at really unfunny things, I'm like, I'm like, man, like, do I just not enjoy life? Like they're getting so much enjoyment out of this. Like that, that has to be awesome to be them, doesn't it? Yeah. To go and see like a, 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 a and, like, mediocre movie and get that much enjoyment out of it. Laugh out loud. Sometimes I laugh out loud at how stupid something is in a movie. I'm trying to remember the last time I actually legitimately laughed out loud in a movie theater. Mm. I remember, I remember laughing out loud during Anchorman too. I Is remember that the last time you laughed in the theater. No, I just <laughs> for some reason specifically remember laughing out loud during Anchorman two many times. Dude, that movie was actually really funny. I've I've seen it I think twice. I've I seen saw it three times. The first one in theaters, then I tried to watch it again. Except I watched the bigger, longer, more uncut version or whatever mm. it's called. Is that G- Girls Gone Wild bigger, longer, more uncut? The the Anchorman Which is two bigger, longer, more uncut. Is that a thing? Is I don't, that, I don't is think that a tagline so. That's for that's the that's the Family Guy movie, or <laughs> really? the South Park. No, it's a South Park movie. Oh yeah, South yeah. Park movie. But I, I watched the second version of Anchorman two because they made like two versions of the movie. Um, yeah. And I did not like the second one as much. It was funny, but it was not as funny as the theatrical Anchorman two. Okay. Did really you like the part where they have the baby great white shark? The the musical number. I actually did. I thought just that was the whole funny. story arc with the baby great white shark. I liked it when they I saw it, in it into the wild and it attacks Will. I think doesn't attack Will. I think so. Yeah, not but, Will Smith. Will Ferrell. I mean, I, I wish Will Smith was. A, he is an anchor <laughs> he man. Is, yep, he he's is. an anchor man too. Oh man, that's crazy. Him and Kanye West and and uh, Jim Carrey, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, it's a lot of Jim people. Jim Carrey is in it, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I thought, it's I it's think that big fight scene at the end. He plays one of the Canadians. Yeah, him and what's her face? Kobe something. No. From How I Met Your Mother? The, the girl. The beautiful woman. Um, beautiful woman. Uh, Ma- Marianne C- Cotillard. The French actress. She plays the other Canadian. She's in a lot of stuff. She's in She's in Big Fish. Is she in Batman? She's in... I don't know. Is she, in, is she, is she, is she Bane's love interest in Batman? Probably. She, she's, very, she's very beautiful. Okay. I would like to wife this woman. If no. she's li- she did a duet v- with Nathan Fielder. They did a Wait, video really? where they were singing to each other, and it's really awkward. In what? Just for no reason. Just on like Comedy Central. Just randomly on like Comedy Central's <laughs> YouTube channel. It's like Nathan Fielder was he singing the f- Nathan character. Yeah, and then she's like singing, and he's singing back. It's so funny. It's I gotta great. see that. Yeah, it's wonderful. Man, I I, I really hope that uh, I think Nathan Fielder's getting another season. I hope Better so. Be. It's good. That's like that. That is a peak peak comedy show. Him and Eric Andre mm. really have comedy down. I think that they'll both get another season. They're both from the same production company. Absolutely. Which creates fantastic shows. Steve Brule, check it out with Dr. Steve Brule. Nathan for you. Tim and Eric, awesome show. Great job. And the Eric Andre show. Those are all like really good shows from the same production company. So good job. Absolutely. Go watch them. They're uh, all, those are they're all not, some, like, some of my favorite to. shows. Uh, and they're not paying us to say this, believe it or not. No one's paying us to say anything this episode. We have no, we have no sponsor-free episode of Super Mega Cast. Yeah, you guys are enjoying that. Except you know there are ads every now and then through the episode. But that's just. But we we're not directly endorsed by these people. No, and and you know you and can... don't hold them accountable to what we say. Yeah, and don't don't don't. Then you're just reaching. Don't message them and be like, hey, they said bad things on their podcast. Pull the ads. Don't do that. <laughs> some people, some people do that to some people they don't like. Hey, what a dirty little tactic. What a very dirty little tactic. You're giving these people money. Hey, stop giving them money because we're taking them out of context. Yeah, exactly. Someone uh, someone could take you saying the F word out of context and send it to a Coca-Cola and be like, hey, Coca-Cola, look, you're advertising on this video where Ryan McGee said the F-U-C-K word. So don't take that out of context. Don't cut me saying F-U-C-K. Don't take that one either. Oh, yeah? Shit. 
Coca-Cola tastes like boogers. Ryan, that's not true What at are they going to do? What are they going to do? They're going to pull huh? all ads for my videos. That's what? one of the biggest ads on YouTube is oh, Coca-Cola. Yeah? Tostitos. More like... Don't say it. Don't say it, Ryan. Stop! Pe penis Tito's. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they're probably gonna double the ads on our videos. Like, <laughs> no, they're like, that's, genius. that's a good one! Yes! <laughs> There's some guy with a big pipe. Oh, that's genius! We gotta get this guy in! Get him to marketing! <laughs> Dude, I wanna see that out like on on the like like on TV. <laughs> Those Tito's more like penis Tito's. <laughs> It's like, that's like gonna be one of those like ad campaigns that everyone will remember 50 years. Like, everyone remembers Where's the Beef from Wendy's. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be like the next Where's the Beef. More like penis. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. It's so, so bad. So fucking moronic. Like, I, when, when, when See, I. See, but that makes me laugh. Okay. Dude, there, if they did that, I'd go buy to no, Tostitos. But is there a thing to where like. Humor is stupid, but then it becomes so stupid it's funny. Because that's what I feel like I have. But like, why is that a thing? Why is like the st the more dumb something is, the funnier it is? I feel like is it because it's like if that actually happened, that would be hilarious. If 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 reality were to warp in this way and have that actually happen, that would actually be entertaining and funny. Because I can't imagine it happening. I'm trying to gear my head around why stupid humor is funny. So I feel like there's a graph, right? Where it's yeah. like, okay, so like. Let's say the, um... It's also all relative to what you think is funny. Yeah, that's true. Too. But I guess there's a graph where it's like, like one axis is how funny some... Okay, let's say that the x-axis mm -hmm. is, um, absurdity, and the y-axis is how funny something is. Okay. I feel like the graph, like... It's, you, dude, you know what? I have no idea what I'm saying right now. D right? Like, I can't pinpoint it. Like, I thought I had something there, and I was like, this is going to be scientific and smart, and I'm going to look really good, and nope, nothing. Just absolutely. I'd have to sit down with, a, with a speech with and a like, pen and paper. You feel prepared, and you're like, this is going to sound so smart, and in the middle of it, be like, I actually have no clue what I'm saying. Could you imagine at a big speech dude, like that in college? I would have signed up for like a TED talk and just get up there and be like, I really have no idea what I'm talking no, about. No, talk 30 minutes straight of like something that you sound very knowledgeable about and then be like, to be honest, guys, every, I have no idea what I'm saying. I did not prepare for this. Um, uh, and then pull a Michael Bay and then walk off. <laughs> I love that video. <laughs> he goes on stage and he like starts Such speaking. He's like, <laughs> And he just walks he's off stage. He's such a big baby. <laughs> he's such a big baby. He is, dude. He's a big baby. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, it's because the teleprompter was moving too fast or something. Michael Bay apparently is like a big tantrum having child. Michael on Bay set. Bay. Yeah, because like uh, I don't know. He he directs those action movies. Mm -hmm. Why doesn't he direct a Hot Wheels movie? <gasps> Ryan? No, Matt. So you you give me shit saying I hear your phone nonstop, and then what? And then what? Your phone makes a little ding dong sound, and that's okay. And not Ding Dong as in I'm sorry. the other person we know named Ding Dong. It did, it goes, it goes. Total silence. It goes, Ryan. That's my Ding Dong impression. Fuck you, dude. Fuck Ding Dong. What? Fuck you. Don't say that. I'm calling him out now. Ding Dong's great. Hey, Ding Dong, Julian. Stop. You gay? No. <laughs> the secret's out. <laughs> I love those guys. Ryan. We gotta get them back on the podcast. It's been too long. I know. What are they doing? Sweating around? Probably. Just they, they turn their house into a sauna for some reason. <laughs> yeah, it's uncomfortable. Every time I go in, it's like 500 <laughs> degrees. They're sweet boys, though. They're very sweet. I love touching both of them. I love rubbing Vaseline and all over them. Do you, I, I, do you, do you often? Yes. I, we haven't hung out in a while, but last time I went over, that's all we did. Just rub Vaseline on each other. Oh. What? Why are you giving me that look? Nothing. I was just... That's, Man, what, that's what male friends do. Ding Dong is is a... Is a uh... is it ding dong? <laughs> oh. Now the computer's in interrupting yeah, the, the us. Yeah, the computer just made a sound. Saying he's a freak, dude. And we want a bunch of those claw machines. We want a bunch of those toys, dude. He is so good at at art, dude, dude. Any arcade game or claw machine, put ding dong in front of it. God, it's like put it's Julian like, in it though. I would love to see Ding Dong fishing Julian out of a claw machine. <laughs> Julian, how'd you get in there? This is the second time on our podcast we've talked about Julian hanging from like a crane type thing. <laughs> yeah. There's that one we talked about like, didn't we talk about like Ding Dong like operating a crane? We did. And picking up Julian. And, but Julian was hanging like in a like spider. Like a spider. Yeah. yeah. There's, someone did like a little animated of it, I think. 
Can't oh, remember. Yeah. That was from um I'm saying is I want to see Julian trapped inside the Luigi's Mansion game and have Ding Dong have to fish him out, and then they go through a portal and they end up in real life New York City. <laughs> I would love to see that movie with Ding Dong and Julian <laughs> ending up in real life New York City, falling through the portal. They have to go through the Luigi's Mansion world, though. Julian, we're in New York. <laughs> wow, what is this place? I hope, I hope, I hope that Ding Dong's not listening and getting his feelings hurt by our impression of him. Ding Dong, this this impression of you is is not meant to make fun of you. It's just that it's just how my my brain wants to do your voice. Yeah, just like when I do. Like your sister's voice mm-hmm. comes out kind of like this. It's not. That's not my what my mom does. This kind of thing is right. Is this because my sister's a quadriplegic, Ryan? <laughs> Maybe you're making fun of her now. Maybe. And when you do my voice, you it's like no, that's uh-huh. always my voice. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> every, every time you that's do my our voice, voice for like, each other. But you said the do do do. That's usually how the waves go. I watched three large. Cir- circles of, of spit, spit go out, out of your of mouth when you're impersonating me. If it was in slow motion, that would have looked like a fucking brawl. Dude, you know what's crazy to me? Like, when you watch... Okay, so let's say uh, I have this water bottle, okay? You do. I shake it up. Now, if you watched that in ultra slow motion, that would have looked so cool of, like, every every little, like, bit of water, like, particle, like, moving and changing shapes. <clears throat> like, that's happening right now. We just, like... It, like, all that beauty is there, you know? We, we just, just can't see We it. just can't see it. Or... We're just not recognizing the beauty that which we can see. Oh, fuck, dude. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I absolutely know what you're saying. Yep. Anyways, thank you for uh, stopping by the podcast. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Do you think that they're think actually going to stick around or do you think they're going to leave? I don't know, dude. Oh, this is a tricky one. Hold on. Let's just let's go like completely silent. Okay. Dude, I bet everyone just clicked off. <laughs> Dude, now we can share our openly racist views. Okay. Because no one's listening. Okay, so anyways. What if we actually just <laughs> started going into, like, eugenics and stuff? The Confederacy! <laughs> Guys, heritage, not hate. A lot of people like to tell you that the liberals and the conservatives switch sides during the civil inconveniences. That is not the truth. They did not switch sides. They're more racist than we are. I had slay. I, um... <laughs> if you actually were like that, I'd, I'd, I'd be more inclined to do this podcast with you. I'd want to record like six a week. If I, if I was a... If I was a... Racist? No, not a racist if you talked like that. If you were a racist, I probably wouldn't want to do the podcast with you. If I talked like that, I probably shouldn't have a podcast. I think a lot of people would listen to it. You think so? It's a good voice, yeah. Oh, thank you. I think you have a nice Better voice, than your Ryan. sister's voice? I'm not Ralphie. All right, Ryan. So, I got a sister. I so, got a big ass box of little Ralph for my husband. <laughs> oh my, thank God my sister doesn't listen to any of this. My, my sister would be app- appalled right now. It's like I've been antagonizing your family. First my mom. <laughs> then your dad. My ex-wife. And now my sister. Is she, what is she, she the new to, one? Your ex-wife has to leave her out of this, man. You're the one that always brings her into everything. Yeah. It's not cool, though. You're the one that... You should respect her more, dude. She's been telling me that, you know, a lot of stuff. You've been talking to that, her? You know, there's two sides to every story is all I'm saying. You've been talking to her? You've been talking to my ex-wife? I'm just, you know, I just wanted to find out certain things no, because they weren't Ryan. clear to me. And so I went to her to find to my ex-wife? out, like, what exactly happened because I wasn't sure Are you fucking kidding me right happened. now, dude? I'm just making sure that you're not... That well, she said you guys weren't talking. And you're saying you were talking, so she doesn't want to hurt your feelings. And I'm here as your best, your best friend. Clearly not. If you're going behind my back, and I'm your BF, to my dude. I'm your BFF. BF stands for boyfriend, not best friend. I'm your BFF, bro. We have matching neck tattoos. We do. BFFs for fucking life, stupid fucker. Best friend forever <laughs> for fucking life, stupid fucker. <laughs> I want that neck tattoo. Right on our necks. Let's get, dude. <laughs> I like how right, intense you said it. What are the, like the <laughs> stupid fuckery? <laughs> what are the odds we get those tattoos on our necks? I can't even remember what it was. Someone draw our characters with those best friend neck tattoos. But make them like, make them like a cool design. Don't just throw the words on there. Yeah. Put some fucking effort into it, guys. Come yeah. on. When you don't put effort into Come it, on. you know, it's... It's so easy to make things nowadays. I remember back in the day, you used to know how to do Photoshop skills. Yeah. Or you have to have, you had to have GIMP. Yeah. Now, I you can take GIMP. your phone and go... Pfft.
and make something. That's what Justin did, actually. For the longest time, he just made memes on his phone. Wow. Cut things out on it and everything. Wow. That's impressive. I, I had a... He, he, he does that to edit our compilations, actually. He edits <laughs> right on his phone. <laughs> he uses iMovie on his, on, his, on his iPhone 3. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, they're not, they're not w- edited well. Yeah, so Justin... <laughs> please, yeah. Please, please send us that money back on PayPal. Also, uh, let's talk about the program GIMP. I've never been... I remember before I had Photoshop... Never had GIMP? Well, I know I did have GIMP. I was okay. never a fan of it. I, cause I used GIMP. Also, it's, it's weird. The goofy, scary thing yeah, with the, the dog? blue nose. Wow, that was also, a dog? It's a dog, yeah. What? Why is it called GIMP? You know what a GIMP is, right? Yeah. It's like, like you know, you've seen Pulp Fiction. A GIMP is a man that dresses up in a full leather suit um, for sexual reasons. And he, he's like a little, like, submissive slave. So it's funny that the program's called GIMP. That is a dog. Yeah. I thought it had a blue nose, but it has a black nose. Ah, it's a dog. It's a, it's a, it's a sweet little pooch. Man, I want to I wanna petition... Like, I want to go to the state house, and I want to petition for the word dog to be wow. legally changed to pooch. How to do x-ray effect. <laughs> I want I what? want no one to ever say dog again. I only want pooch. Pooch? Pooch is a better word. Yo, what up, pooch? Hey, pooch. I got three pooches. Dude. I got three dogs. How's your pooch doing? It's doing well. Yeah? Shedding. So, you oh. know, a lot of vacuuming. That time of year, yeah. Banana's shedding too, man. Whenever he runs outside, you can see it in the sunlight. Like a, like see a, it in the air. Like a... Like a trail of vapor behind him makes me dog here. run inside and, and cover myself in a, in a clean towel you should you know what you should mask. do you should dye your dog a color he has like the perfect fur to dye him a I color i think he looks beautiful the way he is oh, i think so too but you could this is a potential like view bringer for our channel ryan if you if you dyed your dog purple or some shit you know how many views that would get us how many views views equal money ryan Think. I'm, I'm trying to think, Matt. I'm trying to think. Well, I got an idea right here, and you're ignoring it. I'm not ignoring it. I'm just... Uh... Easter's coming up, Ryan. Easter is this weekend. <gasps> it's this weekend. You can tie-dye him like an Easter egg. That is true. Fuck. You know what we should do for Easter? What? We should travel to the death place of Jesus and film a vlog there. Fucking Israel or... Iran? Where did Jesus die? Israel? Uh, um... Taquanistan. Taquanistan? <laughs> yeah. Yo, what's up? It's Taquanistan. <laughs> Taquanistan. <laughs> Welcome to my vlog channel. Can we can we shout out a vlogger real quick? Um we Taquanistan? Meant to, no, not Taquanistan. <laughs> we we meant to we meant to uh shout this guy out many, many, many episodes ago, like episode like fifty something. Okay. Um, Ryan and I were driving to work one day. Oh, and... this guy? <laughs> okay, okay. And, Sorry uh, to tell this story. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's a nice, peaceful, quiet day in Glendale. And when out of, out of nowhere, uh, I hear... <laughs> and uh, a nice, I think it was like a Mustang or Corvette or something. Probably, yeah. Just comes flying by us and uh, cuts us off real, real nice and... Real quick. Real quick, real, real politely, cuts us off when there was really no need to because there was no. It's a two lane road, and um, there was a lot of room in front of me as well as his lane was completely empty, so there was no reason for the haste in switching lanes. Absolutely not. But Um, he did. um, Yeah, he did. And uh, on the on the back windshield of his uh, of his of his sick of his sick whip of his epic car, I noticed that that he gets laid with. He probably gets laid in that car, dude. Girl, see that car. Their 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 Sploosh. pussy shoots out web like Spider Man and take takes her directly to his car. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, ah! it's, like, it's like it's like a grappling hook. <laughs> women actually, all women have that function. They just don't know until They're they see his car. They're all dangling from the back of his car, being bounced on the road like hands <laughs> after like a wedding ceremony. Yeah. Um. But anyway, he has the back of his car decked out for his YouTube channel. Um. Should I don't know if we should even say it though, because I don't want to like target. But the, the guy. but the name is the kicker. That's true. Okay, so it was, it was called it was called. <laughs> uh, and he he does I I don't remember I, he does like vlogs or something. But he cut us off in his car, and you know that's the thing. If you're gonna like cut people off in traffic, you probably shouldn't have like a very identifiable thing on your car where people can like find you and like identify you. Well, also, you have to realize this is the person that advertises his YouTube channel on his car. On his car. Uh, but his name is uh, what I thought was funny was uh, his name that he has on the YouTube channel. His name is Rodney King, which is the name of the guy from the remember the guy that got beat by the LAPD back in the 90s that caused like the LA riots and everything. His name was Rodney King. It's kind of, <laughs> kind of an is... unfortunate name. Are you watching one of his videos right now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Hold on. 
Should we peep his name out? This is the man that cut us off, man. <laughs> what? What's was, up, boys? Today like, we're gonna check out my car. Dude, does he does he have his car in the video? This is why he's cutting people off. He's holding his phone while in his car, being a dumbass. He probably didn't even mean to, Ryan. No, dude, I guarantee it. Ryan, I guarantee, I guarantee the reason he cut us off was because he has the decal on the back on his back windshield advertising the YouTube channel, and he wanted us to see it because he knew that we were funny YouTubers. Do you recognize this area, Matt? Uh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, dude. Okay. Chill out. All right, Rod. Relax. <laughs> Rod, get the mic. Get, Wait, the, can't. get the phone away from your mouth, dude. Oh, dude, he, did, he did like a pussy eating motion with his lips. What is wrong with this man? Stop it, Rod. Um, but Ryan, I think oh the reason God. you know why he cut us off? Because he said, "Hey, those are funny YouTubers in that car right there. I want them to see my channel." So he he drove and pulled in front of us so we would see his YouTube channel and check it out and subscribe to it. Uh, we did subscribe though, so uh, you got yourself one new subscriber, buddy. Um, proud of you. I tell you what. Can you put a message alert, like a warning? There has been a nuclear bomb test, so people think it's their phone giving them an alert, in the, or some sort of. Oh, like the iPhone phone. emergency alert sound. Yeah, should totally put that in. Yeah. So, so then it scares. So it I'm not gonna do it this episode no, though. No, but like in a future episode. In a future episode, I'll put that. So like people, will it's be gonna listening. be long enough for you guys to forget about it. Yeah. Okay, well, we gotta write this down, because we're, yeah, we're gonna, gonna forget about it. we're gonna make people paranoid, and they're gonna be waiting for every episode, and now every episode is gonna be a disappointment because they don't play that sound effect. I will, Ryan. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna scare people with it. Um, and are you kissing the microphone? <laughs> what the, the fuck was that? I don't know, I was checking the sound waves. So you check the sound waves by tenderly kissing <laughs> the tip of the microphone? That was very, that was like, that was like how you kiss the tip of a penis. <laughs> how do you kiss the tip of a I don't penis? Know. <laughs> what do you mean? You know what I'm saying, Ryan. No, I don't. Like I don't kiss the tips of penises. I don't either. Yeah, but if, I don't do either. Mean? But what I'm saying was that it, that's what it looked like. If you like. were to kiss the tip of a yeah, penis, that's that would how be it the would way be done. Yeah. It. Okay. it was very like the microphone's a phallic object, and you're going you're going up to it and, and doing that with your lips, and that it looked that it was reminiscent of how maybe a gay man would kiss the tip of a penis. Doesn't even have to be a gay. Okay, man. I've, well, you gave me that book that clearly explained that straight men can have gay sex, and there's nothing gay about it. That's a real book, and I did buy that for Ryan. It's a gag gift. <laughs> And uh, then you left it out in the rain, Ryan, so thanks. Fuck you. I left Bill Nye's book out in the rain, too. <laughs> that's the that's the Bill Nye book that I that I autographed from Bill Nye to <laughs> yep. see if you believe, and I think you did for a while. For a little bit, and then I caught on because I, I was like, wait, you also fucked with the Shane Dawson thing. I too. did. I bought you a Shane Dawson book, and yeah. I autographed it from Shane Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'd love, to, I'd love to read Shane Dawson's, like, his life works, man. What is Shane Dawson up to these days? He's still doing YouTube. He was on the H3 podcast recently. He's still, as far as I know, he's still doing YouTube. I bet you he wouldn't give us a shout out because I know he watches us all the time. Shane Dawson's a huge super mega fan. Shane yeah. Dawson, if you, if but he's but he's too famous to give us a shout yeah. out. Thanks, Shane. Whatever uh, we watch, we still watch your channel. We don't though. Shane, we're giving you a shout out right now. Why don't you give us one, man? Come on, Twitter. Tw Shane, tw please tweet at us, man. I've been loving the music videos you've been putting out, man. Please, Shane, tweet at us, that man. What, what has he been? Up I, to? I don't know. I haven't. Been, I don't watch YouTube Does anymore. He put up really. rap videos now. He makes hard rap. He he makes it the hardest rap he can. Shane Dawson, please give us some form of attention, man. He should start a game channel with Jacob Sartorius. Why? It'd be epic. Jacob Sartorius is like fifteen. Yeah, <laughs> and that would be a really interesting game channel. Also, Shane Dawson, uh, I don't believe you ever thanked me for uh, when I um, made a response video to. Uh, when your grandma was passing, I gave you my condolences uh, like a decade ago. Um, I never heard back from you on that still one. Up, Shane. It's still on YouTube. You can go. You can go watch it. Uh, and it, yeah, it's probably the most embarrassing thing on the internet of me. Actually, that's not true. There, there are things more embarrassing. But I'm not giving any breadcrumbs to what those are. Also. Since we're doing a Shane Dawson roast of 2018, I'm not roasting years. Shane Dawson. This is I mean, what we, it has to, we have to put up. We have to put the name the roast so people watch it. The roast. People of Shane aren't going to be like oh, the uh, Shane Dawson appreciation video. No, the roast of Shane Dawson. Is that this podcast? 2018. Is this a podcast called the roast of Shane Dawson? Yeah, sure. I'd like to see Comedy Central do the roast of Shane Dawson. Make Don do like a whatever his logo would be. The Shane Dawson, because you know each roast is yeah. a bit different. Mm -hmm. 
do one of those. Have Shane Dawson. Would you ever get roasted? Like, uh, like <laughs> no. I I feel like I feel like there. W- if it'd I be- was famous enough to be warranted to have a roast, but I feel like roasting a tiny person is dumb and not entertaining. If you were famous enough, would you open yourself up to the roast? Would you let yourself yes. get roasted? Yes. That'd be tough, man, because you know that there'd be like. Because, like, all, I, I guess a lot of the roasts, like, they're all based in truth. So you yeah. just have to sit there and be like, ouch. Ooh, yeah, that, one, then, that, one, that one cut deep. But then I get professional comedy writers to write my jokes, so I know they'll land. Oh, that's true. That's true. You know? You ever watched a roast? Yes. They're, they're, they're mean, dude. Like, some, some of those things are like, ouch. And then sometimes they have to cut out the jokes from the live, for the, because of the live censors. It's like, oh, what did they say? What did they say? What did they say to Justin Bieber? That was mean. Why were they mean to Bieber? They should just, uh, who do you want to see get roasted, Ryan? Like, what celebrity do you want to see get roasted? Hmm. I should go back and watch the Donald Trump one. That would be interesting. He got roasted? Yeah. The roast what? of Trump. You don't remember that? No. I owned so many things in my, I don't know, what it, that, that was just dumb. I was just doing that to pass the time as I looked up for the roast of Trump. The roast of Trump. I was, I, I, I was thinking in my head. I was like, I was like, because the whole thing was like gold and all that shit. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, on Comedy Central. I remember the promos for that. The roast of Donald Trump. Bah. And then he became president. Yep. He got he got back at everyone for for roasting him. He's he got like, back at Barack Obama specifically for roasting him. And Barack Obama was like, well, at least I'll go down in history as a president. And then Donald Trump was like, oh yeah, watch this. And then became president. Brock, you egged him on. You got you got what you were this asking. This is Barack for. Obama's fault. Yeah. Thank thanks a lot, you know Obama. What? Hey, Barack, let me be real with you for a second. I know you I know you watch us. After right after Game Grumps. He watches Game Grumps first. And then on days if he's got a little extra time, he'll watch some Super Mega. Yeah. But if you are watching this, because I know he likes to, you know, watch the podcast. If okay, he, can. he does. He likes the podcast. Uh you know, you can't really come back from that one, my man. Uh, that is, pr- that one is a loss. Yeah. Here, here's what you can do though, Barack. You can, uh, you can start your own television show and it has to get better ratings than Donald Trump's. And then you win. Then you win on his terms. Oh, that's Cause true. he won on your terms. Now you need to win on his. Now he needs to become a reality person, like TV personality. He needs to be like on the new season of big brother. You think, I think, I, I truly, bl- I think Barack Obama could like host a late night show or something. I feel like he'd go on to do that. He's charismatic. The the late the late night show with Barack Obama. Why do politicians still like he still needs to make money, of course, because the president's not like lifelong money, right? Is it is I don't it, know. I feel like you're probably pretty sad if you were the president for like eight years. Like people make sure you're taken care of. Like yeah. it's like we're not gonna let a president yeah, go yeah. homeless. I, I don't know. I, I I feel like what it probably is is probably once you're done with the presidency you retire, and then you have, like, retirement benefits for the rest of your life that are probably pretty good, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I imagine that I don't, like, a pension, or I don't know. Like, a pension? Ooh. I, I don't know. I like the sound of that. I'm just I'm just throwing around big uh, words that for adults that I don't necessarily know what they mean. Could you imagine, side note, that might lead into a bigger discussion? Mm-hmm. Just popped in my head. Pop, pop it into my head, too. How horrifying it would be to be in World War II or one. <laughs> like, just... Just from this from this environment, and also just pff, battlefield World War One. You mean like we're here on the couch recording this podcast, and all of a sudden, just the couch just gets dropped into the middle of Iwo Jima. Yeah, and like we have like a gun, and we have like a, everything on us, and we have people going, "Go, go, go, go!" We're like, ah! "What? Would, what would we do?" I just get up and start running. I'd be <laughs> like, know. "Fuck!" Uh, I just follow the other people, and I'd run, and I'd be like, "What the fuck is going on?" Would you be a draft dodger, dude? <laughs> I don't know. Those are things I want to publicly say, <laughs> dude. I'm just making sure the government has their eye on you when they when they declare war on someone. No, Ryan. I would. I of course I put my life on the line for this country. <laughs> the face you make when you say that. Would you be? Would you be a draft dodger, Ryan McGee? No, of course not. I love my country. I'd fight for it day and night. Day Same. and night. That'd be my theme song when fighting for this country. I put in headphones. Day and night. Eh, eh, I toss and turn, I can't control my mind. Yeah, because eh, eh. of how much I love this country. Dude, there's going to be people one day that are going to... Why is the computer making that? Shut up! I don't know. Is that what's causing the glitch? It could be. could be. could be goofing up. Um, but Sarah Silverman, get out of there. What I was saying is... Get it? No. Did you see uh, Wreck-It Ralph? No. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Y'all get it, right? 
in the comments. Tell me you get it. Someone got it. Somebody yeah. got your your, your yeah. joke. Someone anyway. got the Sarah Silverman <clears throat> joke. Um, there's gonna be people that are gonna die fighting in war that have watched Super Mega. Be- yeah, that's a weird thought. I salute all of you. There's people. I, I like. I I think that I, I remember like reading comments before people that are like deployed overseas to listen to our podcast, and that's actually like really fucking awesome. So. If you're one of those people and you're overseas right now, Ryan and I are blowing kisses from across the world to you. Those are Dude, real. I those are kisses. Take some Tylenol. I can feel a headache. Dude, I am getting a terrible headache right now. Because I'm thinking take about a Tylenol break. Yeah, let's take let's take a Tylenol break. Okay. Guys, we'll be right back. Um, here's I don't know. I'll put something in to pass the time. Here, big fart sound. I'm not putting a big fart sound. I'll put um. Lady and the Beast. Lady and the Beast. Tram. Lady and the Tramp? Lady and the Beast? <laughs> okay, we'll be, we're getting Tylenol. Let's go pot, let's go, let's do some, f- some drugs, some fucking awesome drugs. <laughs> Put the fart sound in. I'm not putting the fart sound in. We are back in black. I am wearing black. I'm wearing, You're wearing black. I'm wearing black too. I'm, well, I'm, I'm wearing black shorts right now. I'm wearing black sandals, black gym shorts, black sweater. You're wearing black everything, man. You're wearing blackface too. Why, black. why are you doing that? I thought it was funny. Now that I look at it, it's not really funny. It's very in poor taste. Yeah. Uh, but I'm too lazy to wipe it off, so I'm just going to do the rest just of the leave podcast. It no one can podcast, see it. It's yeah. fine. Anyway, um, guys, uh, we were in the kitchen after we were swallowing our Advil. I know we said we're taking a Tylenol break, but um, we took Advil. Uh-huh. Um, it was actually really good. Like that, t- that type of Advil is like coated in something sweet. You're going to put so, me to bed? So it goes down real nice and easy. I'm going to go to sleep, sleep. Is it going to make you go to sleep, sleep? Nah. It's not PM. Man, fucking like like allergy, like Benadryl. If you got allergies, I'm like, oh man, let me take some Benadryl. Benadryl sounds like a Pokemon. And <laughs> Benadryl does sound like a Pokemon. Benadryl, go! I mean, I mean it puts me to sleep and makes my allergies go away. Yeah. God, allergies, my allergies have been shitty the last week in LA. Por qué? It's, it's, you know, it's, it's like getting near the end of March right now. Pollen is starting to show its ugly little face and go, hoo hoo, let's go inside of Matt Watson's nose and down his throat. And I don't like going inside of Matt Watson's nose. I don't either. I don't like going to my own nose, dude. Have you ever stuck anything really far up your nose? Yes. A little, I had this dinosaur play set and it came with little boulders and I stuck one of the little boulders up my nose and one in my ear. Ooh. And I think one got stuck in my ear and another got stuck in my nose and my mom had to get them out. Ooh. That's yeah. scary. I hate the thought of that, dude. I, um... I was a kid. I was like, "Oh, this can fit in my ear. Yeah. I can't get it out." I feel like most kids like stick things in their ears or nose, and when they have to go to like the emergency room because they got. I knew someone that got they stuck like, I don't remember what they stuck. They stuck some like play piece of, like of a play set in their ear, and I'd go to the emergency room to get it out because it was so deep in there. Oh, it's like, oh yikes! Stupid fucking kids. <sighs> kids just want to die. Like kids do all sorts of things that they like. They 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 lust for death. You gotta watch your kids. Because there's so many, like, accidents that can happen around, like, you don't even think about. Like, a kid could just be at, let's say, a grocery store, and, like, one of the sh- shelf things knocks over. Like, one of the end caps falls over, falls onto them. Boom, done. It's like, that's, anything can kill this thing, because it's so, it's so uh, fragile. Yeah. Hey, but parents, if you want a good way to make sure your kids aren't going to go anywhere and stay safe, put them in a little ball. You Well... Yeah, that's an option. Or you could sit them down in a room with an iPad or smartphone and just put on a super mega playlist. They'll they would love to watch it. They would go they'd crazy for it. They scream and laugh. They go. Ha! They they'd get the jokes. They'd get all the jokes. How many? Like what percentage of our jokes would kids understand? Like most like, of them. Like a fu- is that bad? Probably. That's not good for me. Like that that feels bad. Like for my own personal. Because I'd, I'd be like, I'd like to have some, like, my, I'd, like, I'd like to think my comedy is above, like, a five-year-old's, but... People our age watch us, and then people who are younger watch us. Some of our friends watch us. Yeah. I can't believe that. If you're one of my friends and you're watching this right now, why don't you go ahead and send me a text message or something to prove it so I can feel better about myself? Thanks, guys. Our parents watch us. My, uh, my, friend, my friend Brandon. Brandon Yarchuk. Yarchuk. He's a fashion-designing Korean man. Very talented. He, uh... Oh, he just messaged me. What? Yeah, because Brandon? of my story. What? Yeah. He's from, uh, he's from Irmo. 
I saw him in uh, pictures of, uh, I think that you took. He was in one of the pictures on your Instagram. Yeah, yeah, and So yeah. I looked at his account, and I really liked what he was uploading, so I followed him. Yeah, dude, Brandon's cool. Brandon, like a, he Brandon. Takes, he takes nice photos, and he dresses very well. Brandon is a very fashionable man, and he's a fashion designer in Ohio. Or some, some, Ohio. University in Ohio. some university in Ohio. Some Ohio. Some place in Ohio. <laughs> and uh, he, make, he makes cool clothes, do I have to say. He makes, like, weird stuff. And he loves minions. He has, like, he has like a like a minions, like, uh, that ain't cool. necklace, and he has, like, minions. That's fucked up. That's not fucked up, dude. That's he loves up. He loves minions. minions. There's nothing wrong with loving minions. Yeah, there is. I think he loves minions unironically. Like, he, he, he has, like, just a lot of minions things. That's Brandon, though. Like, they're his Pokemon. Like, if they had minion cards, he'd collect them all. I guarantee they have minion cards. They have minion everything. You got Bob, Steve... And Wade? Wade? I don't know. What's the other Bob, minion? Steve. Stewart. Stewart. Yeah. Steve even No, one? Bob, Stewart, and... Um, <laughs> I can't remember their names. They're all goofy. I don't know. It's like... Uh, okay, hold on. Wait. I want to figure this out. Bob, Stewart... Wade. I, it's not... No. <laughs> Is it one? What Wade, Wade, Wade sounds like a minion. You know? Minion. Wade sounds like a good minion name. Minion. Hold on. Wait. wait. Let me guess. Don't... don't minion Kevin. Wade. Kevin. Kevin. Oh. <laughs> Is Kevin one of them? What? Is Kevin one? Yes, Kevin. Kevin, Stuart, and Bob? Is that it? Okay. Okay, Google. What are the Minions' names in the Minion movie? A lot of people's phones just responded According to that. According to Wikipedia, it was first foreshadowed in the end credits of Despicable Me 2, where Kevin, Stuart, and Bob... Yes! I got it right! Kevin, Stuart, and Bob. The film. Dave, oh Stuart, Jerry, Bob, Kevin, Tom, and Carl. There's more? Well, there's a bunch of Jerry? A bunch of minions. I know it was like exist. a trillion minions. I didn't know there were like other canon ones. Wow. That's pretty fucking crazy, dude. It's pretty epic, I would say. It's pretty epic. Oh my lord. What? It's recommendation time from your boy, starting with Matt Watson. Can you give me a second? Matt? Can just give me one second, Ryan. Okay. Um Do you want me to recommend? Uh, this things? week's music recommendation. Did you not have anything set up? I I I did. And I, I just, have something to recommend. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I have, okay, I just finished it. I, I will never try to put things in the recommendations that I haven't seen type of thing. Yeah. Like, I won't be like, I'm halfway through this and I really like it. But I just finished a documentary series or a docu-series. Its name is Wild Wild Country. I tweeted about it. I thought it was really good. It's about this uh, society, cult, whatever you want to call it, or religion um, that... Um, exists in this town in Oregon for a few years and it's just one of the studies of a new upcoming culty religion Ooh. that was very it's a, it's a very very entertaining Ooh. uh little docu series i thought i guess i just like docu series where it, it the subjects are super, where the subjects are really interesting. Like these people got thousands and thousands of people of other human beings to believe in this one belief system and how it just catapulted into something bigger. And I was like, how have I never heard of this? It's huge. Like when people think of cults, they think of like all the, like Jonestown and all this other shit. Like this is a big one. I mean, granted, one. I mean, there wasn't like, I don't want to spoil anything. Nothing Jones, nothing um, to the extent of Jonestown occurred, but still, it was a big event, and there were a lot of things that happened around it. I have to speak very broadly because I don't want to spoil anything because I feel like you just have to experience it. But I do recommend 100. Uh, percent It's a six part series, Wild Wild Country. It's on Netflix. Go check it out. I really, I really dug it. You dug it, dude. I dug it. Life's a garden. Dug, dug it. Dug it. Good game. All, all I'm thinking about is Doug, like the cartoon character. This do, week's, do, 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 I'm going to recommend do, do, a song do, do. called uh, Blue. That's B-L-O-O -O by Zach Valier. Um, I, I like it a lot. I think it's cool. Um, and I like Zach Valier a lot. He's a cool guy. So go go, go check that one out. I think it's pretty good. Awesome. Yeah. I might have to check that out. Don't. Okay. This is only for the listeners. This is only for me. This is my music. This is, you, you're not allowed to check it out, Ryan. Because if you check it out, it won't be cool anymore. That's not true at all, Ryan. You can listen to whatever the F you want. Can dude. I? What have you been listening to? You been listening to music lately? Um, yeah, but I'm just, I'm in another one of those uh, say anything phases where I listen to them for like a whole month. 
I do so. that too. Sometimes I'll, I'll get like a band and I'll pretty much exclusively listen to that band for like a whole month. Like at there's at least probably like two month, two to three months out of the year where I will be mostly listening to like a Say Anything album. Yeah, I have a couple bands that I'll, I'll like, I'll go back through and like a couple times a year, I'll just have a phase of just that band. Yeah. And like it, it repeats, like I'll do the same bands like mm-hmm. every year, like um I think every year I have like a Tyler the Creator phase where it's been a bunch of Tyler. Yeah. Um I there's a Japanese band called Lamp I listen to a lot. Um what else? Like I like there's there's so much Lone. There's a electronic artist called Lone okay. that I, I listen to like a ton of Lone. Um Bowen. Stuff Ooh. like that. Listen to a lot of that, man. Look at you. But I God, I love it. Weezer. I do. I got I got I go through I have, Weezer phases. I have Weezer as well. I love me some Weezer. They kind of combine very well with say anything sometimes in terms of the feel that I'm going for. I follow a uh, River uh, Rivers Rivers Como. He's the lead singer of Weezer. His Twitter page is like a meme page now. He tweets the weirdest <laughs> shit. He's a memer. He is. He he tweets some really weird shit. He's cool though. I love him. That's an epic meme. Guys, I want to see Weezer live so bad. And I'm also speaking of music. I'm very very sad because um, they recently uh, released the Katamari Damacy soundtrack on vinyl, and Guess they only got to set an alarm. Yeah, they. Well, I did set an alarm. They only printed 3,000 copies, and it was going to go on sale at like 10 a.m. What so. happened with your alarm? Didn't Oh, you didn't wake up. No, no, I did wake up. I set the alarm. but You then, forgot what you set it for. Yeah, the alarm started going off at like 9.59 a.m., and I was like, why is my alarm going off right now? So you I turned it off. You need to the alarm like, Katamari! I should have titled it, because in the moment when I created the alarm, I was thinking like, yeah, of course I'll remember what it is. And then uh, when I suddenly remembered, it was like 3 p.m., and they mm-hmm. were all sold out. So I am... Devastated, but the people that produced it said that they'll probably they'll probably make more. They'll probably print more. Oh, you know they will. They already said. I mean, yeah, they said they, if they sold that, there many, will be blood. There will be blood. <gasps> yeah, that's right. I just movie. took what you said and I turned it into a movie title. A really that's peak commentary. It is a good movie. It is, it is a good movie. I've also been playing. What have you been playing? Uh, I'm playing. I think I'm about halfway through Wolfenstein: The New Order. It was a game that came out. It was kind of like. Um, a reboot of the Wolfenstein franchise. Oh yeah. Um, like on it? on Jory's request, he was like, "That is a good." Because I was looking for a first person shooter that was actually fun and good. Because, um, most of them aren't anymore, unfortunately. Um, so I'd say it's really fun. Has a lot of personality. I'm enjoying it. It came out in 2014, so it's not like it's not this amazing graphical experience. I mean, it still looks. Fantastic, and um, the sequel apparently looks even better, which is crazy. But um, I really like the tone that the game has. It feels very unique, nice. and you do it's like it feels like you're playing an old shooter again, where you're just supposed to have fun, like Super 3D Noah's Ark. Yeah, like I'm talking about shooters back in the day, where you you go into an empty room, and all of a sudden a big boss comes, and you have to f- just ri- riddle it with bullets, hit those weak points. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm really interested so like in playing? Like in a fun way. I've never actually played Doom, like the original Doom. You have to play the new Doom. The new Doom is I like really, to. really. I want to like I really want to play the original though. And and I, and pretty soon in my room, I'm looking to set up like uh, I got my little CRT TV set up, and I'm mm-hmm. looking to set up like just a whole station with like a bunch of old consoles, and I'm gonna try to wire that into my computer so I can stream some of that stuff. But um, I've been playing. Did you get the new Far Cry? I did. I've been playing it for the past few days, or the past two days, I think. Haven't heard you talk about it. Is it, is it, is it any good? I'm still playing you it. You like it? I'm still playing it. I'm. It's one of those games where, like, I played a past time. It's nothing, like, I'm oh. really super invested in. Yeah. But I have fun with those games just because there's a lot that I find enjoyment out of. Just going around in an open world, taking out outposts, getting, getting shit done. And I like the environment that they chose for this one, which is America. Because in like past Fuck games, yeah. they'd have uh, outposts and stuff, and I'm like, oh, that's this is a cool looking outpost. Look at this building. This is cool, but like this is based in the United States, so you can I recognize the architecture. I'm like, oh, that is a this cabin is a really nice cabin. Damn, they got a second floor. How many rooms they got in this bitch? So I find myself doing that a lot in the Just game, like exploring that stuff. Like, this is a nice little town. <laughs> yeah, well, like that's cool that. though. Because I, um, I guarantee the people that designed that want people to recognize that stuff. Yeah, I I, I like I like the uh the setting of this one but it still feels like a far cry game it's nothing um to write home about but if you like the far cry series uh i'd recommend it's fun especially since they have co-op you can play with people so it's it, people derive a lot of fun i mainly got it because uh justin's gonna get it and him and i are gonna do some co-op coop yep 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 
I always read the word co-op as coop at coop? first. I like, used oh, to. It's co-op. I'm like, oh, co-op. Yeah. I'm not. I'm waiting for my brain to develop a little more so it so it starts reading it as co-op instead that, of coop. That used to be one of the first things I'd look for when I looked on the back of a game box. I was like, like, co-op? Players one to two. <gasps> yes! But then, but sometimes it would be like, players one to blank, and then it would just be one, and then it says players online or something like that. Ah, players that... one to eight. So you'd see that and be like, yes! Then you're like, wait, there's no split screen? Oh, online? Damn it! Or something like that. Man, I bought some board games recently. You know, I've been playing a bunch of every night. What? I've been playing Bananagrams. What is that? Uh, because because uh, Julie from Australia is in town. We've been playing Bananagrams what's, every night. What's Bananagrams? It's like Scrabble, but it's you don't have a board, and you have to try to like make as many words as you can, um, and you want to like use up all your tiles first. Yeah. It's just it's just like Scrabble essentially, um, a little different, but uh, Uno's fun. They have Dose now. I saw, what I was in fuck? Target the other what night, dose? they had dose. What the fuck is that? They had a whole sec, like a whole like display for it. It was like by from the, the makers people. of Uno. Oh my God. And they had them side, but you could buy both. There was Uno and there was dose. And I'm like, what the, what is what dose? Is dose? I don't know. You, you didn't no. like I don't know what's it? different. I just looked at it and I was like, okay, I guess they got dose now. Jesus. No fucking idea. What other board games are fun? Uh, Battleship. I bought Battleship too. Battleship's fun. Battleship is, is a slow game. Very it, much it's, so. It's pretty fun. Like, did you get the electronic version? No, I just got the base, the one with pegs. Oh, okay. It's a, uh, it's fun. I mean, it's not something I'd play like multiple rounds in a row because it, it's a little boring. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It's like it's a good time passer. You had your one of the one of the old move in type of things where it's like I'm gonna get a bunch of board. games. I got board games. That's yeah. why everyone has board games because they move into a place and they're like, I need board games, and then they buy a bunch of board games, and then and then they you know. start just being. Dust. They just start collecting dust. Yeah. yeah. Got my record player set up. Ooh, Listen same to some here. Tunes. Yeah. Listen to some some groovy tunes. Nice tunes. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Daddy nice, nice. likes. Yeah. There you go. There nice, go. dude. Yeah. That's a great way to end the podcast. Thank you, guys. It's on iTunes. Please rate us on iTunes if you feel so inclined. Um, if you see Matt in public, hit him in the balls. He loves it and thinks it's funny. You're in on the joke. Ha 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 ha. Bye. Don't do that. Do it though. Don't do that. That's. Because you'll be in on the joke. That's and then you'll tweet at me and I'll laugh. Film a video of it and I'll laugh. That, well, that's filming a crime. That's you assault can, and battery. You can actually, uh, if someone actually does something to you, you can uh, point the police to me and then point them to this podcast and be like, this is why. And then I could probably get some sort of charges put on me. That's if I choose to press charges against my friend Ryan. That is true. You might be a good friend and be like, oh, it was just a jest. Or you might be a good friend and not tell people to hit me in the balls because you know that... But the money. But the funny money. What funny? I'm not getting money for that. I am. You have some kind of contract? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, but the funny money boys. <laughs> and funny money studios. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody.